hello so welcome to today's video and this video will be looking at a cost of building a two bedroom block of flats in nigeria currently we have the building behind me so we'll be walking around so you can take a look at how big this building is and the spaces we have in this building so stay tuned to the end of the video as i take you on a video tour of this building so currently they are working on the electrical aspect of this building uh, which i'll give the estimate actually which is required to wire this building currently they are doing the piping of this two bedroom uh, block of uh, flats on a duplex apartment so we currently have two bedrooms and also two bedrooms separated by staircase so what's the nature of this building? This building is built to be rented. So we have a staircase which will take you upstairs, separating the two bedrooms downstairs. So when you go upstairs, you see the stairway, and when you climb it, after climbing it, you have to go to the first floor. So currently the first floor has not been built because we are waiting for the electrical works to be done so that the decking can be done. So we don't want to do your, your piping work after the decking has been done because there's no way the lighting points are going to go upstairs. So it's required you do the piping work before actually doing the decking work. So this one is going on right now on site where we have our workers breaking the walls which is that this is the electrical engineer you can see him doing his work behind me so he's actually doing the breaking after then they will be doing the piping after then they install the electrical fittings and then they they go upstairs also and do the same thing so let's take a look at how big this uh, how big this building is and which type of plan it's sitting on and everything you need to know so let's take a walk <laughs> Yeah, so guys here is the engineer uh, that is responsible and the contractor of the electrical works on this building so uh, engineer BN please uh, can you tell the viewers how much your views because today you're actually doing the breaking of this uh, duplex apartment so how much is required to to do this building for the electrical works in case for the materials alone thank you for your for your question in this building now this will get yeah and uh, there are some different uh, price in the game in, in areas every area has their own prices and here yeah, the cost of the material alone is about uh, five hundred and seventy thousand now for the material does that include the breaking of these uh, walls? They, no, they, that's just, it's just for the material alone. Mm, but the workmanship itself, yeah. the workmanship is about uh, 250. Okay, 250. 250,000. Okay. Uh, today is the first day we are starting this wall, uh, we are doing the breaking. Tomorrow we will lay the pipes. And as goes on, we will be doing everything has to be doing step by step to the, the, the end of the this stage yeah of the decking okay so the 500,000 is just for the pipes the know? pipes the pipes and the other materials okay. are 570,000 for the pipe and the materials okay, that is just for the block of flats the block flat. Flat, yeah, that is the, the two the two, and the two. two for okay the two. plus the staircase so, yeah for the steps case so anybody who is trying to build this type of uh, building should know the price and take note so this building is actually building a one and a half plot of land so if you have a one and a half plot of land and you, you are in your electrical wiring stage 
uh, you, all you have to do is to contact engineer Ben. So his number will be on the screen also so that you can contact him uh, for your estimates and also his services. So we, we are also working together with engineer Ben. So, sir, so if this amount for the 500 is taken down, it's going to take the same thing upstairs also. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. The same thing is the same thing we are going to take in upstairs. When we use upstairs, yeah. sometimes maybe we check the cause. Sometimes in the upstairs, they always extend some wall. Maybe you add another because of the cantilever. Yeah. You add some other uh, rooms again. Yeah. So when you add, the estimate will go higher. You have to add some some uh, uh, some money. So the estimate will go higher than the, the down. Okay. So sir, I would like. You know, most people when I do videos, they normally uh, say they do not think a duplex can be viewed this way. Up to the next thing, I'm having someone who is arguing with me that he build a duplex for up to 75 million. But for this stage, how much do you think we have actually spent? For the, yeah, for for the this for building. The building. Yes. For how this much building. do you say to the, the people who are watching this? The, because most people are watching from abroad. Yeah, the, this building, I can even from the beginning of this place because if you look, if you take a look at this building, you look that the owner of this area has spent more than close to close to this uh, just this stage he has spent close to eight uh, eight million. Uh, yeah. Because one, it's a uh, it's a swamping area. Yeah. And then you have to start from the beginning. You lay sixteen mm down. And the low 16 mm to afford the 16 mm is not an easy thing. Before you finish and change everything so that the house will not collide. Because it's the swamping area. You have yeah. to take care of what you are doing from the down, from the foundation. Change yeah. it with 16 mm. And that's why you know that the cost of the material will that's why you'll be going up and down. And what we are doing, what we are doing there, the concrete aspect with the mixture we are going to mix there is a different mixture. Yeah. So that's why the young man, even the owner of the house, is not complaining about what he needs. He needs good job, yeah. quality job. And when you check it, you see that the building is not having anything crack. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Because of the, from the beginning of the soil. What you did in the soil because of the foundation. Yes, sir. So, so sir, what will you say about uh, the architect that actually handled this project, this project? So did he do a good job? Or? Yeah. If it is, I will thank God, I will thank the engineer, the architect that did the job. So we can see the window designs we have. These are one of the modern window designs you can find in the country currently uh, because of its unique uh, way of designing, mostly uh, using casement windows instead of the normal sliding windows. <coughs> uh, because of this uh, type of window feature you have in this building, a lot of people actually love to stay in this building because it has a modern feature, firstly. But you can see the electrical pipings we talked about that is ongoing on the site. So here is the entrance this building so from the entrance you see we have the living room the living room which is comfortable also for a family of up to up to four or five people and the dining is also a good sizable uh, area for up to five people as you can see from its size Besides, it was designed for minimum and maximum of five people. Though we have a kind of two bedrooms here, which is the main uh, factor for this building. So the two rooms will be sharing a toilet. That is the design idea for this because we are trying to consider the space and also the we are trying to consider the space and also economize on the money that is being spent. So here is the second room. Here is the second room we have here. You 
can see the window designs. This building or room can accommodate up to two people. It's sizable for two people and a maximum of three people. So that's why I see the living room was designed for five people and the dining room was designed for five people. All these are considered when designing a building plan. You have to know how many people are going to be using the building you are designing for. That was makes a perfect building design. So even though someone is going to be renting this place, he has the capacity if he's the only one renting the place, he has the capacity to have up to five people in the building area. So here is the here is the here is the wardrobe. As you can see it's big enough to at least accommodate any kind of baggages that someone might require. And here is the sit-out area for the occupants of this room. There is a sit-out area for them. So here is the bamboo we are going to be using for decking. So this the building design that is designed for rentage. As you can see from the design, it was designed to rent. So having been in the dining here, you take a look at the kitchen. Here is the kitchen area. And here is the kitchen store. You can see the kitchen store here. So we have the entrance of this building. That is the first flat. This is the first apartment. And we have the staircase. Then we have the other building apartment here. So here is the exterior of this apartment building. So as you can see, we have the two blocks of flats here, two two bedrooms with the staircase on the middle, and the land is actually really, really swampy. You can see the vegetation cover here. Then the DPC level is high enough to contain any kind of rising water. So we have actually did this during the uh, kind of rainy season when it was actually trying to stop but we had a lot of issues with rising waters and we didn't need to use water on the on the foundation itself because there was a lot of water <laughs> that we just made use of our cement and the concrete itself and it binded so for this, we have spent up to 12 million naira, 8 million naira for the materials, and 4 million for labor costs, which makes it a 12 million naira. For this stage, 